Hey, Mr. Science here, and we're testing some plastic uh, visqueen here. This is 6 mil poly, and what we're going to be trying to do is make sure that the electricity can't jump through this so we can use it on Tesla coil uh, capacitors later on, a uh, rolled oil-filled cap. So this is a uh, 15,000 volt, uh, 3.8 amp, 250 watt uh, transformer. And it makes a uh, nice arc. This is arranged in what they call a Jacob's Ladder configuration. And as you can see, we've got, well, maybe you can't see it way over there, but there's a little tiny arc right, right there. And uh, it's trying to go shooting up. It's going back and forth. And I'm going to see what happens if I uh, uh, unplug it here and give you a little bit better idea of what the arc looks like. There we go. Hmm, too much. Let's see if we can just scoop that in here a little bit. Oh, ouch, that hurt. All right, don't want to do it with that. That's sending up funny, but maybe I better turn it off. There we go. All right. That's a little bit better. Let me lighten up that mic bulb last one more. There you go. I think you can see the art now. Anyway, uh, that's what we're going to be trying to shoot through the plastic and see if the plastic can withstand the energy. So I'm going to unplug that for a second and make a very close tolerance, very tight gap. Um, just enough to stick our 6 mil prophylactic insulator on here. There we go. And what we're seeing is, does this stop that much electricity there? So if this is a good insulator, the electricity can't get through there. Uh, I have a feeling it will. It did. All right, so what we've got now is uh, we've burned a hole right through it. You probably heard a little snap. Ah, maybe a little flame building there. And if I bring this over, you can see what it did to the plastic. It just punched a hole straight through. So that's not good. So we're going to double it up. We'll go with two layers and see if that makes a difference. I'll just cut that away. There we go. So we're going to try a double layer of 6 mil plastic. See if that'll stop 15,000 volts at 3.8 amps. All right. Put that in there. Got a very tight gap here. We're, we could be using air separate these and it would probably do a better job. All right, so let's see what that does. Wow. It's really trying to get through the plastic, but it's having a hard time, so it's going around the plastic. Very interesting. Having a hard time getting through the plastic. I'm seeing lots of little uh, corona blue sparks running around the outside of the plastic. I think if we turn the lights off, it's probably making a nice glow, like a, like a fiber optic. A lot of ozone here. I can really smell it. It smells like just after or before it rains. Little tiny arcs here and there. I better turn this off. It's really building up an arc there. So, ah. so that's really working well to contain the electricity and keep it from arcing through. Oh, that's nice and warm. I feel, I feel like warm plastic. Now, if I bring this over here, you can see some little tiny um, uh, discolorations in the plastic. It's very warm, but we did not punch any holes through. So, uh, let's see, 6 mil doubled up. I guess that's 12 mil plastic that stops about 15,000 volts or so. So, if we uh, actually had stretch the plastic out. Maybe the only way would be through the plastic, but that's a whole nother experiment. Thanks. This is Mr. Science.